Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. President Choice Financial discontinues free banking. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll talk about President Choice Financial and CIBC Bank terminating their contract to providing free banking to its customer. Let's go back 17 years. 17 years ago, there was a guy at my work and all of a sudden, one day he mentioned to us that there is a free banking which would provide everything we need including checking and savings accounts, free checks and everything for free. and. The only uh, problem with that banking is that there's no branch or anything and we had to do everything online. Just like myself and my other colleagues, no one believed what he was saying and at first uh, we thought it was a scam or it was a catch, there must be some sort of catch. But we decided to go ahead and try it anyway uh, and we started with a, a small account just to test it out whether this is true or false or this is real or scam or there there's a catch however it turned out to be a real thing and since then business choice financial has been my uh, main financial institution and i've been using them since then but this morning news broke out that uh, cibc which is the back office provider of business choice financial will discontinue free banking and CIBC open up its own online free banking. President Choice Financial has been providing free banking for Canadians for approximately two years and it has about two million customers. This is a joint venture between CIBC and Loblaws. Prison Choice Financial would provide free online banking. Uh, there are no physical uh, locations or branches except the pavilions at uh, Loblaws. And CIBC would work as a backbone of the financial service or as a back office providing free banking to Prison Choice Financial customers. This morning, the news broke out that CIBC and President Choice Financial have mutually agreed to break the relationship and all these accounts will move over to CIBC slowly. So what is not changing is that your bank information, uh, for example your account number, transit number and all sort of stuff and you don't have to do anything on your side or you don't have to take any action all the pre-authorized checking or payment deposit plan or monthly uh, purchase plan or anything you have associated with your bank account will move over to a new CIBC platform which is called Simply and everything remains the same uh, there's no fees or anything so what is changing is the brand name starting November 1st President Choice products will be called Simply and it will have uh, this new brand name. Your debit card. Between November 1st to April 13th, you'll be receiving a new debit card from CIBC with its new name, uh, Simply. And until then, you can use your existing President Choice debit card. Pavilions. Starting November 1st, CIBC will start removing pavilions from Loblaws locations. These are small freestanding stalls where you can do banking at Loblaws and you will not have access to those or CIBC will start removing this, uh, them in phases starting November 1st. Bank machines. CIBC bank machines inside Loblaws. Starting November 1st to March 31st, CIBC will start removing CIBC bank machines inside Loblaws. So you will not be able to use them after that and if let's say any Loblaws uh, has its own bank machine or other bank machine that you'll be charged a fee if you do transaction however according to President Charles Financial you'll be notified 
of that fees if it happens. PC points. Starting November 1st, you'll not be able to earn PC points for business choice financial banking or simply banking. However, you will still remain a program, uh, remain a member of the PC points program and the points you have already earned, it will remain yours. PC MasterCard. PC MasterCard will not be affected by these changes. If you are a PC MasterCard owner, it will be still provided by President Choice Financial and you will still be able to earn PC points for using PC MasterCards. So PC MasterCards is not a part of the deal and is not moving over to CIBC. Let's talk about what I think. I think lots of people started banking with President Choice at the first place because they didn't want to bank with CIBC or other big banks. So this is going to be interesting to see how many of the customers CIBC can retain. Because from the daily banking, there will be no more rewards points. A lot of people will not like that. And I have this feeling that CIBC will cut lots of services as well. For example, right now with President Trust Financial, you can order free checks or unlimited checks and you can have unlimited transactions. But it will be interesting to see what CIBC does with these uh, features. And then there is another uh, good thing about President Trust Financial that uh, their customer service was really good. I have never heard any complaints from anyone so and whenever I call them for any problems or any issues they resolved it right away and their service was really top-notch service so this is going to be an interesting another interesting uh, thing to say to see what happens with the customer service and what happens with other aspects there are other options there are lots of banks offering free online banking and services I'll just name two of them one of them is Tangerine which used to be ING Direct and now this is a part of Scotia Bank and they have free online banking just like President Choice and there is another online banking uh, which is EQ Financial they provide a very good free online banking as well and there are many more online banking providing free services so these President Choice customers have options to choose a different provider if they do not like CIBC. For my own bank accounts, I'll not cancel anything or I'll not do anything right away. I'll just see how CIBC handles everything and after a few months, if I'm not satisfied with uh, CIBC or simply, then I'll just close my account and I'll move over to either another free banking provider or another big bank but for now i'll just stay put with the cibc let me know what you think whether you're thinking to close your bank accounts with cibc or you don't mind moving over from business choice financial to cibc and or whether you'd like to just watch it for a few months and then you will make a decision or you don't mind moving over to CIBC and just continue free banking with them. So let me know uh, your thoughts and everything in the comment below. Thank you for watching and if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll be providing more financial content on this channel and also I provide other sorts of content, for example travel and other videos. So keep watching, please subscribe and please like. Thank you. That's all for now.